Hello, I'm Andrew, and in this video we are going to talk about lasers. And if you are new to looking at what laser to buy, what should you do, hopefully I can help you out. Because not every laser is good at every task, and some lasers are crazy expensive, and some are more affordable. And so I wanted to do this video as kind of a basic introduction, not too heavy, and keep everything in lay terms. So there are different kinds of lasers. The one behind me here is a CO2 laser. It's a very common laser out there. This one's made by Xtool. I'll put a link in the description. And the CO2 laser, as with all lasers, wattage really indicates power. If it's a low watt, and what I'm talking is something like a five watt is low watt. This one's a 40 watt, that's decent power. Now this 40 watt CO2 laser is excellent at cutting wood, cutting acrylic, uh, it can cut other materials like leather and even paper, and it can engrave, even though it takes a little bit of time versus something like a fiber laser. It's a very broad spectrum of cutting that it does an excellent job with. Now this particular model also has some excellent software, a camera, and what I like the most is an air filter. That is very important if you're gonna be doing any kind of laser cutting. Now, before we continue in the video, I want to let you know that this is the first of many videos that I have for lasers. So if you wanna click that subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll be notified of videos that I upload about laser engraving, laser cutting, different projects, different materials to use, materials not to use, and I will say this, just to get this out there, don't cut vinyl, don't do it. Vinyl can release a very toxic cloud and in addition to cutting the plastic, you'll be cutting your life short, no kidding. So click that subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of future videos. So this one can do laser engraving and cutting of a wide spectrum of materials, except metal, it doesn't handle metal well. Now, if you are looking for a laser, you just want to do a business where maybe let's say you're engraving keychains or Christmas ornaments or dog tags, and the name of the game is speed, you want a fiber laser. A fiber laser is excellent at doing small footprint engraving jobs very quickly. So if you have 30 dog tags and you just want to burn right through them real quickly, the fiber laser is going to outpace the CO2 laser. Even though the CO2 laser can handle a lot of things that the fiber laser can do, um, the fiber laser can do metal and can do everything on the engraving side way faster. You're just limited to a smaller footprint. Then you have a diode laser. A diode laser costs less than a CO2 laser. It's not as powerful. There are some higher watt uh, uh, diode lasers that can cut the same kinds of things that a CO2 laser can cut. But because it gets so hot, if you're cutting and it's not as powerful, cutting plastics and things, you want to go with the CO2. But you can cut very thin metal with a diode laser. A diode laser can cut plastic like acrylic, but it may take multiple passes. And because it's a hotter beam of light, it can tend to deform the plastic that you're cutting. Whereas if you're cutting the plastic through uh, the acrylic through a CO2 laser, you are getting very clean, crystal clear cuts. Now, what other lasers are there? We've covered fiber lasers. We've co covered diode lasers. We've covered CO2 lasers. There's another kind of fiber laser that is heavy industrial. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars. And that's the 1500 watt laser that can cut through very thick steel, like butter. It's gorgeous, it's awesome, it's expensive. They are crazy heavy, but I wanna let you know that that's an option out there. So you have fiber lasers on the low end scale that are great at engraving, and fiber lasers on the high end scale that are crazy good at cutting metal. Now, if you do want to cut thick metal, but you don't have the budget for tens of thousands of dollars for a fiber laser, you could look at a plasma cutter. Not a true laser, but it is capable of cutting thick pieces of steel and other electrically conductive materials, mostly metal, um, if that's what you're looking for. Now, Happy Atom is where I learned about this X-Tool. 
I'll put a link to his video if you want to know more about the CO2 laser, but hopefully in general, this video gives you a great idea of what's out there. So there you have it, everyone. That is the laser engraving cutting in a nutshell. Hopefully it gave you a good idea of what to expect, what to look for, wattage and the type of laser, CO2, diode, fiber. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.